doing research and knowing what you're going to get is one thing, but don't pin everything on that. You have to be open to letting the story go where it wants to go. So the film um, highlights the need for people with Down syndrome to be more integrated into places like the workplace. How can the film industry be more accommodating for people with Down syndrome? Just, I think, I think it's that representation. Getting over the, the social stigma and, and is, is, is a difficult thing to do. And well, that's why I think with this film anyway, I didn't want it to just be a piece of educational content. If we can help a wider audience to see it as educational, but also as entertainment, then that, that really goes a long way to, to help everybody overcome these social stigmas. My name is Nick, and I have a younger brother with Down syndrome called Alex. I wanted to spend a year living with Alex and to travel the world to meet other siblings just like us. I noticed there's some really like vulnerable and intimate moments captured in the film between the two brothers. Um, yeah. As a director, did you have to earn a sort of level of trust to be like present and film in these moments? Yeah, it was, it was a difficult thing because we need to spend enough time as a crew and all of us together that we're all going to be comfortable in each other's presence. That it gets to a point where they're not really thinking about are we filming or you know is, is the camera stopped or whatever. So there are, come some moments that you can see in the film that's like maybe quite surprising that they're so open on front of camera because they've just got so used to it and that's great. And the same with the other siblings that we meet. We, we kind of knew that we couldn't just show up for a day and expect to get everything. If we want to see the real dynamic, we have to spend you know, at least two weeks in each location. Is there one piece of advice you wish you'd been given? Doing research and knowing what you're going to get is one thing, but don't pin everything on that. You have to be open to letting the story go where it wants to go and take, taking risks, even, even though that's scary. And we got more confident doing that as the film went on, particularly like in the second half of the film, when we go to Vietnam, we get braver and it becomes more of an investigative type film. So we're less certain when we turn up who we're even going to meet, what they want to talk about. We've just heard something and it's up to us to go and get that story. So it's, you know, it's kind of leaving the research later, but it does tend to pay off. So having a lot of belief and, and, and trust and finding the story as you go isn't such a bad thing. So Nick makes it very clear that he doesn't want to treat his brother Alex different just because he has Down syndrome. Mm. And as the director on the film, how did your relationship with Alex develop? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was tough to see that sometimes. Yeah, I hadn't, I suppose, anticipated that there would be some difficult moments on camera that there were. Um, and you kind of want to step in and go like, guys, guys, like break it up. But it's, it's like that, it's like with wildlife documentary, I suppose. It's like, we just, this is reality and that's what we're here to tell. Let, <laughs> step back and film it and we'll, we'll kind of deal with the consequences later and, and see if Alex and Nick are both happy in the, in the broad picture with how it's turned out and the way that you're portrayed. You'll destroy your kids' lives if you take them home. Think of them. That's what they actually said to us at the hospital. Just go home and forget about him. Your hand right is not right. No, my head. Oh, your head. Your head's not right. So, um, lastly, is there any advice that you would give to young documentary filmmakers who are approaching subjects that um, are quite sensitive and personal? I think, it, yeah, I mean, for me, I, I didn't really know a lot about um, Down syndrome. It's like if, if I can learn everything, then I can hopefully help an audience to learn that as well. Yeah, I think like as someone who watched the film, like I, I learned a lot as well about it. So like you say, like the fact that the director is learning so much as well, like I think it really comes across through the audience then, like how much you can actually learn from these type of films. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I sort of didn't set like a tick box of what I hope I'd sort of discover anything particular, but certainly there's so many different little things that, that have really enlightened me about the process. Well, um, thank you for speaking to me today. Um, I really enjoyed the film, so... Um, oh, thanks so but, much. Yeah, well done on it. Thank you.